The double value 15 second autonomous period underway in qualification match number 38. First to score looks like it might be the blue alliance. All three of those robots lined up before the red alliance is able to line up for their scoring. That's going to be a huge advantage to blue for being able to score all of those power cells while they were worth double points during the 15 second first period of the match. While we do not have any sort of autonomous programming running on these simulated robots, we are still valuing each of the ports as double. So anything in the low port is being worth two points, outer port worth four, and inner port worth six during that 15 second period. Now with the remainder of match underway, the Blue Alliance is still hanging on to that lead by 60 points so far. A phenomenal beginning of the match for the Blue Alliance. Red working desperately to catch up. For the Red Alliance, Donut Jonah in red bumpers, they traverse the trench on the red near portion of the field, but a collision between their alliance partners slightly slows down their scoring cycle. They do, though, look like they have gained a little bit of ground here. They were trailing by around 60, now trailing by around 40 in the remainder of this match. All of the robots hanging out down near the Red Alliance sector, where the Blue Alliance is doing the majority of their scoring. Donut Jonah playing defense against Alex in blue bumpers. Alex is hitting, getting a lot of that defense from Donut Jonah, and that is slowing down the scoring cycle for the Blue Alliance. That leaves the other two members of Red able to score down near the Red Alliance power Report. We did just see a respawn from Donut Jonah that was likely to being in contact with a Blue Alliance robot for more than five seconds. As that happens, we see a red circle show up around that robot, and once it does fill, there will be a penalty assessed, and that robot will be moved back to its initiation line. Donut Jonah now unfortunately up against the Alliance station wall for the Red Alliance with 30 seconds remaining in the match. They choose to respawn back to the initiation line on the red scoring portion of the field and Jay Blay goes up for red adding at least 10 more points to their score but the blue alliance has now stretched a commanding lead in this match with 20 seconds remaining red's hope here is that they can still walk away with at least one ranking point they're about 13 power cells shy of meeting the 90 power cell threshold and it looks like they have decided they will not be able to pull that off so they're just trying to get all three of those robots hanging for at least 75 points at the conclusion of qualification match number 38. Match 38, as we saw, indicating a Blue Alliance victory, a huge score, 426 to 320. The Blue Alliance also walks away with both bonus ranking points. That's four RP for the Blue Alliance and one RP for the Red Alliance. That strategy change at the end of the match did guarantee that the Red Alliance was able to walk away with the ranking point for making their shield generator operational. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.